Morning, morning. So today we've just got a few jobs to rattle through. So the first job, we've got to go down to a place in Renthorpe. And we've just got to sort out a little fault with an RCD. So I think it's on some lighting. So we'll get that rattled off. And then we've got to go to a property in Middlestown where we did a EICR. We've got to swap over like an MCB. Just because just of the way it's been wired. So some dodgy electricians being at it again. And we've got to sort out a junction box, which is a bit dodgy, it's just like a tape, it's a box. So we're going to put a proper enclosure in there. Also we've got to fit two six foot non-corrosive fittings in the garage. So we've got some like eight foot fittings at the moment, so we're going to swap them for some six foot LED ones. And then finally, where's that last job? The last job is for a bathroom company, where they've got a centre in the bathroom which turns on some feature lighting. So we've got to see why that's not playing ball. That's it. So that fault finding was dead easy. It's a shame I couldn't really do much filming inside and showing you what I did. Um, it's a bit awkward when the customers say so you can obviously ask to if we can film or not, but it's, uh, it's always awkward just talking to a camera whilst <laughs> the customer's watching you work. So it turned out that they had some work done by a bathroom fitter who put an RCD unit, which is fine, but he didn't check that the upstairs light, when you flick that on, it, if it tripped the RCD or not. So, if you, as you know, if you're an electrician, you've got, if you've got a two-way circuit from the downstairs lighting, which generally they will run a pair of strappers from one switch at the bottom to one switch at the top, and then out of the common, they'll, they'll send that to the light fitting. And then they'll nick a neutral off the upstairs lighting. And because of that, you've got to borrow a neutral. So the way the ACD works, it measures the current going out and the current coming back in. And if there's any imbalance, it'll trip. So you can imagine if you've got current going out into your circuit and it comes back down a different neutral, you're going to have an imbalance in circuits so and going to trip your ACD. That's exactly what we're happening. So after that fit had been, it came to night time, they've tried to turn on the landing light for upstairs and it's stripped the RCD for the whole of upstairs. So all I did there is put the lighting circuit for upstairs, lighting circuit downstairs on the same RCBO, therefore it's got the same neutral, the same live, so it's not going to trip out when you, when you turn it on. Lovely view. Okay, I'm gonna swap this old rusty fitting over for a new one. The same wing. Can't find it though. Right, sir. <laughs> so his next job is in Middlestown. So we've got a couple of lights to install in the garage. So they've got some old 8 foot single battens installed at the moment, the big fat tubes. And you can't get this, the lamps anymore, or you can but they're really expensive now. Because they've stopped making them and the internals are just all rusty and nasty. So, so basically we're going to swap them out for two 6 foot LED fittings which will have the same output and there'll be non-corrosive fittings. So because it's in a garage, electronics don't like damp conditions or non-heated areas. So if you put a non-corrosive fitting in, it's, it's like a sealed unit and moisture can't get in or dust. So if you put a normal LED button in, generally the moisture gets to the electronics of the light fitting and it just stops working over time. As you can see, there's loads of stuff resting on here. <laughs> Better take that down first.
Them non girls who fit into miles better. Let's give it a flick on. Lovely and bright in here now. Jobs are good in. This is the kind of stuff we come across all the time. So that's just an end, just tipped up. And it's alive. Pull that out, follow it back, and disconnect it. And all this mess here. If you look there, that's just a junction box on open. Just spot that, so I'm gonna have to start that. You just pop your fingers in there, and get an electric shock. It's not good. And it's live. Oh, and that's live also, great. <laughs> yeah, that could have been someone dead right there. That's why I get electrician in and not do it sell. So we finished this job now, so we swapped over the two fittings for the old 8 foots and it's just mega bright in there so the customer's dead pleased. We've also swapped over an MCB from a 32 to a 20 so we've downrated it just because of the way it's been weighed. So we did this because part of the circuit wouldn't have been protected by the MCB so potentially if you plugged something in the far end of the extension, the spur off a spur off a spur, you could have had a fire so that's not good. So there, that's all sorted now. So we're just going to go to the next job. So that's the last job of the day. So what we had to do was replace a sensor which controlled the alcove lights and some bath panel lights and some like niche lights so there's lights underneath like a pull out drawer underneath the sink she had like a nice glow and you could pick the colour that kind of thing so what do you guys think the bathroom company has supplied the gear it's been in maybe three months and there's already faults on it so there's nothing to do with the wiring there's nothing to do with the labour that's that fault it's the actual product it's a product fault so the sensors just stopped working it just randomly turns on and turns off so I've just swapped it straight out and it's worked fine. So that bathroom company won't pay the the engineers if to, to fix their faulty products. So obviously if they're buying cheap products which are just going wrong and they're just not reliable, I personally think we shouldn't have to pay to fix their products. Like if I supplied something, I'm supplying it with a warranty where I, I'm, I'm going to pick the product that I know is going to last because I don't want to go back because that costs money. So I always install like good quality gear, but it just seems like for certain companies they just put cheap crap in and try and get away with it. So some companies will pay to go back, so there's some, some decent bathroom companies in Leeds which will do that, but this company here, yeah, they don't want to pay you to go back and they expect it to come out of your pocket to fix their products. So it'll be interesting to see what you guys think, so if you just comment below and let me know, but yeah, personally it doesn't sit right with me. So if you've liked this video and you want to see more content like this, 
I'm going to be doing some more daily vlogs. I'm going to be doing some how-to videos. So if you want to see that content, please click like, please click subscribe, and that just helps my channel grow and produce more content for you guys to watch. And as always, have a good one, and I'll see you on the next one.